Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Tuesday morning. Yes, I'm in here looking at the news. We got some little winter, what you want to say, how you want to say it, wintry weather. It's really just started like mist and raining, but then they said it could turn into snow. You know, they got schools on delay, but I looked outside, there's no snow. It is a little wet out there, and that's it. And it actually feels warm, but it's supposed to be getting colder late on this evening. Good morning, good morning. I'm excited, y'all, about my breakfast. Do y'all remember cream of wheat? Now you look. Remember cream of wheat. I took and put, uh, I boiled my water, and I mixed it in there. I took and put brown sugar, vanilla extra, a teaspoon of sugar, some maple syrup, and added my raisins. And I was talking to one of my girlfriends. She was like, oh, cream of is so nasty. You enjoy it. Uh-uh. I tasted it, and it is so good. So we're going to get our grace in. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food by our heads. We all are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Because y'all know I'm trying to eat healthy. And I remember queen, cream of wheat when I was little. My mama used to make it. But it used to be so good. Because she would do so much to it, just like I tried to remember and do and I think I almost got that flavor she had. It, this, this is good. And then also, I got me some peaches. And I had a little bit of that orange pepper chicken left, so I cut that up. I know that don't match, but that's orange pepper chicken. And then I put me a couple of peaches in it. I warmed the chicken up and just put some cool peaches on the side. It's healthy. Baked chicken or however you want to say it. But we're going to get into this daily bread. We're going to try that in a minute. I hope it stay hot. Okay. And this is going to be coming out of, I read it myself. I'm excited, y'all, about something I can't wait to tell you about. I, I might not can't tell you today. It's good. It's good. Jesus. Okay, this is coming out of Galatians. Okay. Galatians 4, 4, and 5. This is a long one, y'all bear with me, okay? I had to look up some meaning of some words, and I had to really study this, okay? But when the fulfillment of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. The reflection. The start of this passage Okay, I said I was going to remember this word. The start of this passion delineates a distinct time as a time agreed and fixed upon between God and his son from their kingdom of eternity and a council of covenant of peace. This reveals to us that there are progressive periods carefully calculated within God's plan for us. Divided into periods in which ultimately culminates in the life and death and resurrection of Christ. The final, the final, culmination was divided by his disciples of our judgment day. If Christ appears before us back then, would you have recognized his grace or would you have fallen into the line with the unbelievers unwilling to repent? When the time of judgment arrives, will you have been ready? For when the fulfill, the fulfillness of time has come and the days are ending, will you be amongst the saved? As often taunted phrases is, live every day is your last. But perhaps the Lamb of the Lord, it would rather be rendered, it live every day as if the judgment has come, has arrived. Okay, prayer. Lord, my time has come. Your light divine has shone upon us brighter than any star. We have, my Lord, accepted into our hearts your words made flesh through your only begotten Son. When the time comes, let us be ready, Lord. Let my soul be sullied, which means sullied, which means uh, soul be not sullied, like defiled or unclean okay but have lain in wait clothed with your truth and your blessings count me amongst the followers 
on that day of our final reckoning. And all this for the love of Almighty Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay. Cast all your care on the Lord. That's the story by David Jacobs. Okay, now for the quiz. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Galatians. Did I cut that so off? Yeah. Well, I hope y'all understood the daily bread. <laughs> I tried to get it out. I had to look up sullied because I didn't know what it meant. And it means the foul, unclean, uh, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, yes, now to my oatmeal. Yeah, I hope we do get some snow or something. I like I like the snow. I ain't really sweating it. This look like it's raining to me. Okay, y'all ready for the cream of wheat? <laughs> I said my grace. And I poured some syrup on top. Look. I put butter in it. My own raisins. You know, cream of wheat got a little brutal taste, but it said it has uh, high in iron, calcium, and six essential vitamins that we need. So here we go. There you go. I'm going to let you get some first. <laughs> well, I already tasted it. Mm. Yep. It's different, but it's it's okay. I can do it as long as I know I'm doing it for healthy reasons. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, Lord, I can't wait to get a bowl of cream of wheat. No. Mm. But I did it. Brown sugar, all that sweet stuff in it, and then the raisins, that make it sweet, too. Mm. Oh, they talking about chaps in school are really showing out. Fighting. They got to have a security. They come to school with guns and knives. Oh, my Lord. A real bad fight. Y'all ought to see these kids on him. Ooh, I wish y'all could see that. You ain't going to be able to see it. Yeah, it's gone already. You should have seen them brawling. Prayers needed so bad right now, y'all. We need to pull together as a praying Christian family, all of us. And pray for one another. Try your best to love one another. I love everybody. I don't have nothing against nobody. I'm telling you, I really don't. It's just that I'm trying to make sure I'm right when the Lord's cracked that sky. So you have to eliminate yourself sometimes. You have to take time to know where you are and where you stand and how good, is, how strong is your salvation and stuff. And you got to be sure. I mean, you got to check yourself every single day. Be careful of what you say. Be careful of what you do. Ask God to cleanse your thoughts. It ain't no joke. Going to heaven ain't going to be no peaches and cream, y'all. <laughs> your feel me? Ain't going to be no peaches and cream. It's not going to be. Mm -mm. Getting into heaven is not going to be easy. And I'm telling you, let's don't play with God because he's real. He's, he's coming. I was looking at stuff on the news. Y'all don't know what it is. Every day is something. We got to pray every day, all day, during the day. Get out your bed before your feet hit the floor. Thank him for waking you up. You just got to, you got to have God in your life right now. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. And it's time to pray every single day. It's time for us to get back on our knees. It's getting serious. And there's some things get ready to happen on this earth that we ain't going to have no control of. God going to have control. And if things that's going to go on, we're going to need his protection. Okay? Power downtown just went out for no reason. Okay? Get ready. Get ready. He coming. Mm. Oh, this that orange pepper chicken right here. Remember that? Mm -mm. What, say? what kind of eating she doing? We don't waste nothing in this house. I bet it's going to taste good and you won't go hungry. <laughs> I bet you that. Mm. And these came from the Dollar Tree. A whole big can. 
Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Y'all are chilling with Kay. Say your prayers. Get on them knees. Repent. Jesus on his way. Bye now. Whoosh.